Hey there guys, so uh, I've got a special package that just came the other day, that, so this is the Raspberry Boy. So this is by a, an engineer called uh, Pierre-Louis uh, Boyer, he's a French engineer and he's created uh, a Kickstarter campaign to get one of these Raspberry Boys. So essentially it's as you... <laughs> Can tell from all my other videos it's a handheld console and uh, what's special about this is that it requires zero soldering so i'm just going to quickly run by you uh what what's inside and what you get with uh the package so so in the package you get the, the rafted boy like this you get a few baggies full of uh buttons and little contact buttons and you can change from uh, you if you're in the US you would have these purple uh, buttons but if you're Europe um, you would get these uh, yellow green red blue uh, which I personally prefer so and um, you also get a an SD card which I've taken out already and a sticker uh, to stick on the front of the uh, of the Russell boy. Uh, also, what else? So, what you what you will need to get this completed is a, a Raspberry Pi Zero. So, I'm just going to open this. So, this is how it comes. So, if I open it up, you can see that there's uh, the components for the, the buttons there's a, a massive 3000 milliamp battery and you have the LCD screen and here's the 8B craft uh, board so what's special about this is that, oh sorry I don't know if you can see that but there's little contact buttons here and they push actually push down a little so what essentially happens is that if I get my Raspberry Pi out at the back of here there's a few contacts here and they basically map to these little switches here so it makes that connection and gets everything working and that avoids all the soldering so anyway uh, I'm gonna piece this together and then I'll talk about it even further
As I said, the Raspberry Pi was made by Pierre-Louis Boyer. He is a French engineer who had inspiration from custom build projects like the Game Boy Zero. Please check out his Kickstarter and his blog. It's an interesting read and to see how a vision leads to a full manufacturing process. I'll leave some links in the description below. His main intention was to make it easy for people to get into custom builds but not having the need to solder components to a board. So if you want something that is fairly inexpensive and simple to assemble, I would definitely look into the Raspberry Boy. Pierre achieved this by using a pogo pin on his 8B Craft PCB which connects to the contacts on the Raspberry Pi so there is simply no soldering needed. When you receive your Raspberry Pi, you will require an older model of a Raspberry Pi Zero. Pierre explains that the W will not work. I think this is something to do with the Bluetooth or the Wi-Fi that interferes with the 8B Craft PCB. Because the older Raspberry Pi Zero is much rarer to get hold of, you're probably going to be paying a lot more than £5. So the great thing about the Raspberry Boy is all that you have to do to get this working is to install RetroPie and update the config text for it to work with the 8B Craft PCB. Details of this will be in the description below. Installation is pretty self-explanatory. All the connectors require a bit of common sense to put together. Where I found the most problematic was the final assembly. You have to balance some components to get the console completely closed. When you're done with that and have installed a few games, the first thing you will notice is how illegible the games list is. For this, I really recommend you increase the font size. I've again left some instructions in the description below. The features of the Raspberry Boy is pretty cool. You're able to use the HDMI out to project the Raspberry Boy to a TV, as a speaker, volume wheel, two USBs to connect an extra controller, a button to check your battery level and controls to adjust the screen. The speakers are not the greatest. You can hear a slight hissing sound in the background. Pierre has said to turn the volume down uh, from the UI and turn the volume wheel up, but I still can't get a good sound. Here's a sample to see what it sounds like. The controls are pretty much as you expect. It's a SNES controller and feels great. All in all, if you're looking for an emulation console and don't really want to fork out on a Game Boy Zero, please look into the Raspberry Boy. Thanks for watching guys, please comment, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers!